Do you know why a bee hums? Because he doesn't know the words. Maybe that's also the reason why Lewisburg is a whistle stop. Bill Geist investigates. Lewisburg, North Carolina was alive with the sound of whistling. Everywhere you looked and listened. The town claims to be the capital of whistling. First of all, because it's home to the International Whistling School. I'm hoping to maybe learn, uh, pick up some warbling. I don't do it as well as I'd like to. I'm here really to see what I can do with this pucker. We need to come out of the closet, out of the shower, and <laughs> whistle in public, uh, and, and put this uh, conception of strangeness of whistling to rest. Moreover, Lewisburg hosts the annual International Whistling Contest, which brings together the world's premier whistlers. Showtime. Whistlers like Steve Herbst, Last year, Steve was crowned the International Grand Champion Whistler. I've whistled in Carnegie Hall. I've whistled Carnegie Hall, in Avery that. Fisher Hall, uh, down at the Kennedy Center on their Millennium Stage. No kidding, that's him in the Kennedy Center, whistling. He also whistles in New York nightclubs. That's Whistle. kind of shocking to a lot of people. Yeah. We think of whistling as whistling for the dog or for a cab or at a pretty girl or something. Well, this is, this is like my mission in life, which is to make people aware of the fact that whistling is, is not just what they think it is. Right. Because they're just not familiar with it anymore. People used to be familiar with whistling. Back in the golden age when whistling played a leading role in the movies. And on television. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. Oh, Steve knows how to whistle, all right. As do all the competitors at the Olympics of Whistling in Lewisburg. Whistlers like the dramatic Jason Victor Serenus of Oakland, California. Who sounds a little like someone playing a musical saw, don't you think? I share this madness with people of uh, whistling, and it's, it's my voice. There's the formidable defending international women's champion, Carol Skinner from Miller, South Dakota. The dulcet-toned technical virtuoso, David Morris from Manchester, England. And teenager Cal Fenwick who came here on a bus 30 hours from uphill Ontario and left a whistling prodigy and heartthrob. <laughs> How and why did these people get into whistling? Oh, it's just the enjoyable, you know? It's just, you're ever feeling bad or anything, you just whistle and there you go. My great uncle was a shoe salesman. And he would parade me up in front of this D.H. Holmes department store and I would whistle for pennies and nickels. I've been whistling since before I can remember. But long enough, my mom kept telling me, would you please go outside? <laughs> These skilled lips can whistle anything and everything. Pop hits by ABBA. And Santana. Polkas. Movie themes. And show tunes.
And this year, of course, lots of patriotic numbers. Even jazz. And classical. Where else and how else could someone like Terry Rapphold, a New Orleans toilet tissue salesman with no musical training, play Vivaldi in concert? Much of it is quite beautiful, their puckered lips emitting the sounds of violins or flutes, which makes it terribly difficult for the judges, but in the end, Carol Skinner. Yeah! Carol Skinner wins back-to-back -back titles as women's international champion. David Morris. David Morris becomes the new men's international champion. It's been a long journey. We've come 3,000 miles. And Jason Victor Serenus is inducted into the Whistling Hall of Fame. For such accomplishments as whistling the part of Woodstock the Birdie in this Charlie Brown cartoon. Steve Herps won the Entertainer of the Year Award and in his acceptance speech talked of a whistling resurgence. This year's competition uh, is indicative of the people who've come from far and wide uh, that you know, whistling is an idea whose time has returned. Hey, Norma Pugh! Which is good news for the 2003 graduating class back at the International School of Whistling. For them, the future has never looked brighter.